Welcome back. Today we're going to look at this bracket build that I've done from scratch. And it might be a bit nerdy and it might be a bit boring for those who know how to use fiberglass and do these kind of things, but I think it's valuable anyways. Early on I decided that I didn't want to use any wood at all, no organic material at all. So I'm using Divinicel, also using Lantor, Zorik uh, composite later on, but mainly fiberglass. Here you can see the starting point of the transom and what I'm trying to do here is to uh, measure up exactly what kind of uh, bracket I need to cover the, the holes in the, in the transom. Uh, so this is basically the, the first outlining of the form of the bracket that will go into the transom. Since I'm no whiz when it comes to CAD programs, I had to do some modeling on my own. And I did some tries with cardboard boxes and it turned out quite well. When this was done, I went to the local hardware store to get some material for my forms. And... Um, I've learned over the years that if I use this, uh, I think it's a chipboard with some thin thin laminate upon it called melamine, uh, I can actually use this as forms or molds for uh, fiberglass because not anything stick to it. You don't need to use wax or anything, so you can just fiberglass upon these ones or you can use gel coat and it doesn't stick, which is great. So then I started to go ahead and actually try to build what I had in my mind when I made the, the cardboard designs. When this was done I took some wooden strips in order to sort of fill out the radius and this uh, now looking back I shouldn't have done this I should have just fiberglass the whole thing and just made sure that I put some sticky peanut butter so to say in, in the in the corners of that and just grinded everything off so I got the, the right radius but this is what I did and I also put some duct tape uh, on the sides because that's also something I usually do when I want to cover things up and I don't get I don't want the fiberglass or gel coat to stick so um, the, the, the wooden strips and then some duct tape upon that before I gel coat the whole mold. When this was done I measured out some fiberglass mat and some fiberglass cloth to make sure that I got a good solid starting point of this, this uh, bracket build. So I did that some layers and then I popped it out of the, the form uh, in order to check this and make sure it was aligned against the boat and the transom so I didn't measure anything wrong in the beginning um, and uh, well this is a starting point at least it uh, did look good so I just kept on going again in the garage uh, I've uh, now come to a point where I uh, need to go all bananas with the fiberglass and also the divina cell uh, and at this point in time i just continued to fill up the the transom that is now lying downwards that's the actual bracket transom uh, fill it up with different fiberglass mats and uh, by actual cloth and at, as you can see here you have this the what are called 450 that's the gram uh, mat and then you have the biaxial 300 grams uh, cloth and then the 600 biaxial up here that is a bit more sturdy and the 450 mat is not structural so this is the biaxial that that are building the strength this is more of a filler so to say and bonder uh, right now we're going to take a look at this divina cell which is the core material so in Sweden we don't have the KUSA board as uh, we have in the States and we have this Divina cell that works well when it comes to building uh, like interior things but usually this that's to, to um, 
uh, soft for things as uh, transoms. But this case we have a, a 250 density. The, the numbers are measured in density. So we're going to take a look now at what is usually shown in, in stores around in, in Sweden. And that's uh, basically a density of 60 or 80. But this is bought directly from the manufacturer Diab Group. Uh, here you can also see that uh, I've built it kind of sturdy down at the bottom, but upwards it's much more thin because I'm going to glass this in in the hole in the transom and inwards all the way through and up against the stringers that will go through this uh, bracket all the way back to the transom. So that's why it's kind of thin right now on the upside, but thick at the bottom side since that's the transom. But uh, coming back to the Divina cell, I'm going to show you how it looks like. So let's go over to this. So these are the sheets that I've used. Uh, you have here the, the 250 density, which is made for things like the, the transom or uh, very heavy, heavy duty stuff. But then you have the, the more lighter version, uh, which you usually see in the stores, uh, which is also cut like this, so they can are more, more, more easy to uh, bend. So, coming back to the, the build here. Um, so yesterday I put down a 450 mat and then a 600 cloth here and then pushed down this piece of Divinicel and uh, put some weights on it. So right now I am ready to move on and this is what I've done so far. Uh, I took some 450 mat and cut it into small, small pieces. Um, and then I mixed that with some polyester resin and put that uh, on the sides here, all the way around it. But before that I also took the grinder and carved out some nice radius around here and then filled it up with some, well, some would call it peanut butter. But uh, just to fill this gap out. And then it uh, hardened and I got over it again with some even more sticky mass. But also I put a layer of uh, 300 grams by axle on top of that. Which meant that I could then roll that one in with a roller and get a good radius. Which looked good. So when this was done and I put the radius in as I wanted it, I took one 450 mat and then also a 600 by axle around this uh, bottom and then rolled it in. And uh, that's pretty much where I am right now. So I'm just going to go over it again, layer on layer on layer upon this to make it really thick. And I'm going to take some cloth and go upwards so I build it up in a, in a good manner. It might be that I just build this uh, f with fiberglass layer on layer and then eventually just put another piece of Divinicel on top of that and then continue with the different layers of cloth after that. But we'll see. You might wonder why I don't use more resin than I do right now, but this is just the first step to get this stick on the on the previous material. Uh, and then I'm going to go over this again with more resin and fill and wet it out basically. But this is uh, everything I wanted to show you today. Uh, the next step will be when the transmit is actually on the boat and well, that's the next step. See you soon. Bye.